time and time again, I keep getting these calls from agents that want to talk to us about joining eXp only to find out they've already joined under someone else or they fill out the application and now they want to change or choose a different sponsor. Well, they think they can change sponsors, but that's maybe not the case. So if you want to know what the policy is on choosing a sponsor at eXp, I'm here to explain exactly what it is. And if you want to know how important this is, whether you're at eXp or you're looking to make a move to eXp, you need to watch this video because this is going to shed some light on something everyone needs to know. And I'm getting after it right now. Hey, what's up everyone? This is your host, Jesse Dow, coming to you with another episode of the Cloud-Based Brokerage. And if you want to know everything from revenue share to real estate right here at eXp Realty, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and tap that little bell so you're notified each and every time I drop a new video. And honestly, I'm getting so many calls from team leads, real estate agents, brokerage owners, and influencers want to talk about eXp, and I absolutely love it. So if you want to get a hold of me, you got to give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, or even schedule a Zoom down in the description below. However you want to get a hold of me, I got your back when making a move to eXp Realty. So this is a scenario that I get consistently every single week at least i get someone that hits me up and they're like hey jesse i'm at exp realty and i want to change sponsors what can i do hey jesse i started signing up at exp and the person that i've been talking with i decided they're not really the, the right person for me i kind of got tricked or i got kind of forced or i got pressured into signing up and now i don't want this person as my sponsor so how do i switch that up my, and my favorite one is somebody coming over and then they call me up they want to talk to us they see everything that we have to offer and they're like, I'm going to change sponsors. And I say, you know, unfortunately, you can't change sponsors. They're like, does EXP know who I am? You know, I'm a $40 million a year producer. I can do whatever I want, blah, 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 blah. And they bang their chest. Well, here's the biggest difference about EXP and every other brokerage is EXP for one, it's, it's traded on the NASDAQ. And our model has a revenue share model aspect to it. So what that means is that every time that you pay into the cap, seven people above you. So if I was your sponsor, it'd be me, my sponsor, his sponsor, his sponsor, all the way up are being directly impacted by your production because EXP retains 50% of the company dollar and they give 50% back. That's why this whole sponsorship thing is so important. So when you sign the ICA listing your sponsor, there are three boxes that you have to check in sequential order. There's three videos you have to watch to verify that you understand and you know exactly what the policy is. Half the time, agents breeze right through that. They don't know what they're doing. It even says in there that if you don't select a sponsor, EXP is gonna assign one to you. Well, a lot of people think the sponsor is the mentor, the mentor is the sponsor, and it's, it's two completely different things. If you're signing up, and you don't have a, and you're a brand new agent and you don't know anyone, even if you do know people, you're going to get assigned a mentor in your market. If you're a brand new agent, it's not going to be your sponsor unless your sponsor says that they do mentor people. So if you are looking to sign up with someone and they say they're going to mentor you, you know, like I always say, if they have the business and the life that you desire to have, then that's a great mentor. But if they don't, that's probably not the person I choose to mentor. So EXP is directly impacting multiple people, which is why they do not allow you to change sponsors. If you sign up and don't move your license to eXp, you have to stay out of eXp for 180 days from the day that you signed that document or click those boxes. If you signed up and didn't even submit it, you just signed up and listed the person 180 days. If you are at eXp, you join, you have your license here, you're working away and you're like, I decided my say your sponsor quits and you don't know anyone else. You're like, I want to choose a new sponsor. Guess what? You have to leave for six months, 180 days. There's no if, am, biffs, or buts about it. It doesn't matter who you know. It doesn't matter like what your production you do. It doesn't matter how many agents you have in your network. You don't just get to move sponsorships. There is a ca caveat though, and that is, let's say you're a husband and wife, say you're dating and you have two separate organizations and the future wife's in another organization and they get married, that's the only time, but you guys have to merge your organization into one. That's the only time that that would ever even happen. So there's no wiggle room when choosing your sponsor. 
because I've had this happen where people submit their application, they choose someone else, they they end up like meeting me and my business partner Jackson, or they've been following us and discover that we're at EXP, and they they realize that we have have so much value, we help so many people because you want to align yourself with people that have the business and the life that you desire to have. Not only them, but make sure that they've done it for other people or helped other people do it too. That's how true leadership and mentorship works because a lot of people can talk a big game but are they backing up that game as well and is it do i believe that people say things and don't do what they say they're going to do because they made me to do that it's hard to say but i think people don't really have as much time especially if they're producing or selling real estate that they would like to have to help the people in the masses you know obviously at the end of the day it takes you to take action to put those things into place but the reason that people love working with us is because we've built long-term sustainable inbound traffic that calls us directly every single day and they're super high quality clients so what people do is they'll sign up and then they'll find us and they'll be like oh uh, they'll meet with us. They won't tell us that they've signed up because the first question we always ask is, have you signed up with anyone? Have you been talking to anyone? You know, we don't want to step on anyone's toes. And it even says in the EXP onboarding documents, you know, or our agent pledge that just because we talk to someone doesn't mean they're, they're signing up with us. This is the agent you decision to make to get to choose who is going to be your added value. EXP, the only thing we're mandated to do as your sponsor is help you onboard. Other than that, there's no ties, no strings attached relationship unless the person that is your sponsor says they'll give you something and then holds true to that. Now you can offer trainings, you can offer um, mentorships, you cannot offer cash. Does it happen? I'm sure it does. I'm sure it does, but I don't know anyone that does it. I haven't heard of anyone that does it. I would hope that it doesn't happen, but I've had people tell me that someone's offered to pay them to join their organization. So they think they're going to change their sponsorship. They submit their, you know, they don't submit their application or they only filled out part of it, but they did list someone's name. And then they talk to us. They tell us they haven't signed anything or filled anything out. Come to find out they have because they went back to EXP and said, Hey, I decided I don't want to join the person I was going to join. I want to join someone else. And the EXP just says, you know what? Sorry, you have to stay out of EXP now for 180 days. That's unfortunately our policy and EXP's contracts for every agent is the same in every single market. They don't make exceptions. There are cap deferrals. So let's say you have paid $16,000 in your cap at the brokerage you're at today and your cap resets in six months, EXP can give you a credit for that for six months. Um, so there are some things to work with, but it's also the best before you sign any documents, before you fill out anything, make sure you have conversations with multiple different people. Now, if you're working with somebody, they've been talking with you for months and you've already given your commitment to sign up with them, then you should honor that commitment and go into the organization. Because truthfully speaking, people that are leaders, people that are, you know, business generators, it doesn't matter if they sign up with me or sign up with anyone else. The only thing that you're looking at in that position is you're looking for leveraged opportunities. Typically people that build big businesses, they don't need a, a sponsor that provides a ton of opportunity. However, that's based on the traditional model. In 2022 and beyond, we are now moving into an informational era where digital and social media mean more than anything else. People are choosing their agents based on relationship, connection, and how you engage with them. My business partner, Jackson, has sold two houses in his life and he gets hundreds of calls a month for people begging to work with him because he's built relationships and connection through YouTube. And that's exactly what we do just like I'm doing right now with you. I'm building a relationship and a connection where it's not me being involved to have to do that face to face. However, if you do schedule a call with me on my Zoom or send me a text or send me an email or call me, it is me that responds. It is me that gets on those Zooms and it is me that walks you through those processes and shows you the opportunity of what we offer on top of what EXP is gonna offer you no matter who you join. And I just wanted to put this out there because I get so many calls and I get so many messages from agents that are extremely confused. I get calls from agents who feel like they're being pressured into doing things. And it's just, in my opinion, there's gonna be bad apples in any organization. EXP does not have a recruiting division. EXP is all agent to agent recruiting or what I call attraction. And that's another thing that I love about the model is that we're not competing with our brokerage. All of our brokers here are to support our agents. They're not selling real estate. They're not running teams. And EXP is a growth company. 
which means that every time we hit a level of agents per state, they add more resources and support. We're not a profit company. And if you're thinking about eXp's revenue share versus Keller Williams profit share, just so you know the difference, profit share is what they give after all the bills and all the execs are paid and whatever is the, the company is left in profit. Revenue share is when eXp brings in a dollar from the cap and they give 50 cents back to the agents in revenue share. So eXp retains 50% of the company dollar, they give back 50% of the company dollar. So imagine an agent's cap is 16,000 bucks. Let's say you have a hundred agents in your direct organization, they all cap, that's 160,000 bucks. I mean, $1.6 million. Now eXp is going to retain $800,000 of that and give back $800,000 to the agents in revenue share. There's agents here making six and seven figures a month. This is life-changing money, which is why the sponsorship is so important. But in 2021 alone, eXp gave $157 million back in revenue share to the agents. $157 million. That's on top of the commissions. That's on top of the stock equity program that eXp has. That's cold, hard cash. If you think I'm joking and you think this isn't a real opportunity, then check your pulse. And if you want to get a hold of me and talk about real opportunities, there's only one way to do it. You got to reach out, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, or even schedule a Zoom down in the description below because either it's going to make sense or it's not, but either way, you're going to know. And guess what? I got your back when making a move or having a conversation about eXp Realty. And until next time, I'll catch you later. Thank you.